I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Jordan, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Dublin DD, undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here's episode 35 of our Pokemon Sword Isle of Armor Let's Play, and guys, if you missed last episode, we did the Psychic Restricted Sparring Battle, and today, I'm not going to bug you with the details, but, we're doing the bug uh, sparring challenge. <laughs> Now, we kind of created this team at the end of last episode, so you guys already know if you watched, but just in case you didn't, we got this G Max Orb Beetle with a Life Orb with Psychic Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Bug Buzz. We actually used this Pokemon last episode, did pretty well for us. We have a Shiny Scizor, Brick Break, U Turn, Bullet Punch, and Iron Head, holding them leftovers. And then we have Volcarona, a Shiny Volcarona, with Bug Buzz, Psychic Quiver Dance, and Fire. Blast holding that silver powder. So let's jump into it, guys. I think we are ready to go. We're actually almost done with the restricted sparring. I mean, we've got quite a bit done. How many do we have left? Like six? Seven. Okay, seven. Seven more to go. Could be seven more episodes left in this series. We'll see. I mean, it just really depends if we can beat them all in one shot or not. So if you're unfamiliar, and I explain this every episode, but just in case, if you're unfamiliar with the restricted sparring, it's basically we have to pick a monotype. We have to pick one type of Pokemon and stick with it. In this case, we're doing bug. So all three of our Pokemon have to be bug types. We're going to be doing consecutive five battles. Each trainer has three Pokemon. And after every battle, we have the, uh, the choice to either continue or continue and heal. But we can only continue to heal two times out of the five battles. So you have to kind of try to strategically pick uh, where you want to use your heals at, basically. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. Let's go on to Gigantamax. Let's use Max Phantasm. So, of course, Frostlass, a Pokemon we've used and will use again in the future in these restricted sparrings, is a Ghost Ice type. So Shadow Ball will be super effective. Look at that UFO, baby. I wish we would have, we would have, uh, would have had this last episode because I forgot to... Feed the mushroom soup to our ore beetle. Son of a gun. Goes for Will O Wisp, you harlot. So, anyways, the strategy that I like to try and do is I try to do two battles, heal, two battles, heal, and then the final battle will be fully healed. So, now being burned is unfortunate because we're going to lose some residual damage as time goes on, on top of our life orb damage we're going to be losing. But that's okay, it's not the end of the world. We're not a physical attacker either, so it's not going to lower our physical attack. I mean, technically, it's still our physical attack, but we don't use it, so it's not going to affect us. Uh, so, this is Surf Farfetch, which is a fighting type Pokemon, so we're going to use a psychic attack here. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Easy clap. What does that do? Does that lower the gra or intensity of the gravity? Does that make it to where, uh, like, flying Pokemon get grounded? I'm not sure. Again, I'm not a Pokemon competitive battle and expert. I know a decent amount, enough to get me by. But I don't know everything. Here's Dedenne, a fairy type. Don't really have anything that's effective against this little little girl. It's a, it's a female. Super fan. It's going to take away half our health. That's pretty annoying. Alright, so we have... We popped its balloon. had a balloon as well. Interesting. I, I wonder if the gravity affects flying Pokemon, if it affects the, uh, f the uh, flying balloon as well. What you doing, Wiki, huh? Alright, so we're going to win this battle. It goes for Dazzling Gleam. That won't do too much. Now we are going to start off our next battle with a Burnt um, Unhealthy Ore Beetle. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay. we still got three Pokemon. We have two very healthy Pokemon. Good battle. I don't think we have to heal just yet. So we're going to continue forward. Alright, so battle number two here. Barascuda, which is a water type. Now we can go for energy ball here, which is what we're going to do. But we're not going to gi uh, Gigantamax this time around. It would be a waste, honestly. 
All right, so he's faster than us. Waterfall probably will knock us out. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so I have to bring in Scizor here because Volcarona would get bodied. Should we Dynamax? I think so. Look at that shiny Scizor. We're going to go in Dynamax and we're going to go for Max Knuckle. It's going to raise our physical attack. pressure okay raises attack that's not good not good at all we do a lot of damage to bear scooter but it is faster than us so it could take us out here could take us out here I'm gonna go for max knuckle again to raise the attack one more time but we may not survive this okay we do we're fine we're fine now, Waterfall does have a chance to flinch, but I don't think you can flinch a uh, Dynamaxed Pokemon. I could be wrong, though. I don't think you can, though. So, Bear Scooter goes down. We heal up with Leftovers. And here comes Centiscorch, which is a Bug Fire type. Fire type is very tough for us because we are a Bug Steel type. Um. And none of my attacks are effective either. Um, so I can swap in to uh, Volcarona. Problem, uh, problem, problem is though, we're still going to get hit pretty hard. I think we have to stick with Scizor, but I think Scorch is a physical offensive Pokemon. So I'm thinking we might want to raise our, our uh, defense. I think this might be our best bet. It goes for lunge. So not a fire attack, but it is going to lower our attack. So one of our attack buffs is now null and void. Still good damage, and it's going to raise our defense. Okay. Very good. And he has leftovers as well, apparently. Alright, so this is problematic because he does outspeed us. I could go for Bullet Punch, but I don't think it's going to knock out. I'm going to go for it anyways. Just in case he knocks us out. Some damage is better than no damage. Goes for Burnaby. Yeah, this will definitely knock us out. Yeah. And Burnaby, by the way, is a special attack, so I guess he's... A special attacker, I guess. But he's no longer a fire type, so that's interesting. So it should be just a bug type. Alright, so here we got the hope that we can outspeed. Um, I'm thinking about doing a quiver dance. I'm going for it. Alright, we get the quiver dance in. Because we got to prepare for the next Pokemon, too. We still have another Pokemon after this. Goes for Lunge. Not very effective, but lowers our attack. That's fine. We're specially attack offensive. I know I said that weird. Don't worry about it. We're going to go for Fire Blast. That's Flash Fire. Of course he does. This is a problem. I think I have to go for Psychic. No, we'll go for Bug Buzz. We'll get the stab. This should KO. Alright, we're not out of we're not we're not out of the fight just yet. We do have one more Pokemon to go through. It is a Cramorant, which is a flying Pokemon. I think I have to I can't go for Fire Buzz. He's a water type too. I don't think this is going to KO. Not even half. Shit. 
Alright guys, this is what I'm gonna do. This is really bad because both of his typings are strong against us. I have to go for another quiver dance. Any what? What did he just heal with? Besides the aqua ring? We gotta go for quiver dance. This is so bad. If he goes for anything, we're pretty much dead. Shit. Surf. We our special defense is plus two. I don't know if it's enough to survive. It is, but barely. And he's gonna heal. I'm gonna go for Psychic here. He goes for Endure. That's good for us, because we were not gonna KO him in the uh, in one hit. No way. But this buys us a turn. Okay, we're gonna win. We're gonna. Win. Oh, what does this do? How much damage? <laughs> Fuck. All right. Well, let's, well, we got enough time. We'll restart. God dang it. Not a good start to the video though. Hmm. Just unlucky, just unlucky. That's fine. Let's go again. Damn it, man. All right, so battle one. Here we go. Alchemy. So Alchemy is a fairy type. Think about swapping in a Scizor right away. It can't have anything too crazy that's going to be effective against Scizor. Unless you have like Fire Blast or something, I just don't know about it. Baby Doll Eyes, okay. What does this do again? It like lowers one of our stats. Our attack. That's pretty rough, actually. Let's Dynamax and let's go for the Max Steel Spike. This could KO in one attack, however, they did lower our attack by one, so it might not. Goes for fake tears, but we're protected by it. Or are we? No, we're not. Special defense has now fell. Alright, so we Oko. That's good. But our defense is lower, our, our special defense is lower, our regular defense is higher, our regular attack is lower. So, not a great start. Alakazam, okay. Alakazam, huh? Let's go for Max Flutterby. Yeah, Safeguard, okay, interesting. Interesting. We take him out in one hit, even with the attack lowered. Scizor just going through them like it's nothing. Weavile. Weavile is a dark ice type. One of my favorite Pokemon. Love Weavile. Um, quite honestly, I can go for any of these moves, really. We'll just do uh, lowers or special attack. We're going to go for Max Steel Spike, I believe. Goes for Taunt. That's fine. And then the Taunt here, Bobby. This could KO. It does. Okay. So, great start this time around. All our Pokemon are at full health. Um, so, that's really good. So, we're going to start next battle pretty much at, just at, at full health. And just losing a little bit of PP, which is fine. Um, we may be able to do three battles in a row without healing. We'll see. Because then we can do the final two battles with heals. So... We'll see what we can do. We'll see what happens in this battle. So we're kicking things off against a Robombi, which is a bug type. No, it's a fairy type. I was thinking of Combi for some reason. I was picturing Combi in my head when I said that. Robombi is a fairy. It's not a bug type. It could be a bug type. Actually, it probably is. Because it evolves from Cutify, which is a fly. Now I gotta double check. Yeah, it's a bug fairy. Okay, but I was I was legitimately thinking of Combi for some reason. All right, um, I think I'm gonna swap into Volcarona. 
I can also swap in a scissor as well. Either one would work. I'm gonna go into Volcarona though. Volcarona. Look at that beautiful, shiny Volcarona. Shiny Volcarona is so cool, dude. Goes for Bug Buzz. We're gonna eat this up like it's nothing, bro. Like it's actually nothing. Actually, it did more than I thought it would. Uh, should we go for a Quiver Dance and then Dynamax? Yeah, F it. Let's do it. We're gonna go for a Quiver Dance. Goes for Psychic. It's gonna do a solid amount of damage to us. We hit that Quiver Dance. Gonna power up our Special Attack and our Special Defense and our Speed. And then we're going to go ahead and Dynamax, or we're going for that Fire Attack, baby. Max Flare. We might outspeed it now, too, because of that speed power up. And I know some people probably wonder, because I drink Sonic, like, Sonic drinks a lot on, on camera. I don't buy Sonic drinks, like, every day. I just reuse the same cup <laughs> a lot of times. I'll probably get one like once or twice a week, depending on like if I'm working like a really long day. I just need that extra. I need that soda to give me that extra kick, you know. But otherwise, I just reuse it for a couple days and then I throw it away. I'm sure people are like, "Man, this guy's buying drinks every fucking day." No, I'm just. Sandstorm. Um, so we're kind of in a bind here because we obviously are very weak against rock types. But I'm going to go ahead and just max Flutterby anyways. Because we do have a plus one in special attack. Was that the, uh... Oh, what's the ability called? I can't think of it. It's not. Meteor Beam. This is going to hurt. Yep, and he has the item that's going to allow him to use it right away. Yep, and it knocks us out. That's fine. I was thinking of Sturdy. I, I don't know if he survived because of Sturdy. I don't think he did. That's fine. We're going to bring out Scizor, and we're going to smash uh, Bullet Punch. Taking no chances here. No chances. All right, so two down, one to go. Now, here's the question, though. If we win without losing Scizor or taking any damage, Pukumuku, which is a rock type, right? No, it's a water type. I'm dumb. I always, for some reason, I think it's like a, it's a rock or a water rock, but it's neither. It's just a water type. Um, I could swap here. Let's go U-turn, and let's go into uh, Orb Beetle, because Orb Beetle has Energy Ball. Red card, okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. So now I gotta determine if I want to uh let's recounter. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I think we'll heal. I was gonna I was thinking about not healing, but after taking that counter attack, yeah, I think we're gonna heal after this battle. For sure. It survives. This is gonna go for counter again. Goes for spite, which is gonna reduce her at PP. Yeah, we'll definitely heal after this one. That's fine. No no big deal there. Um, we'll still have another heal available to us. Hopefully after the third and fourth battle, we can heal again. It was looking good, though. I was like, man, we might be able to get through this with two fully healed Pokemon. Hey, good battle. All right, battle number three. It's Braviary, which is a flying type. That's actually very problematic for me because all my Pokemon are bug types. I don't really want to swap out, though, is the problem. So I think I'm just going to Dynamax, G-Max, Gravitas. I think we have to do it, man. Uh, this Braviary will probably... I'm going to say two-hit KOS. I don't know about one hit, but maybe. If he uses, like, Brave Bird... 
It might knock us out, we'll see. Hopefully we at least outspeed. We do, okay, good. Not a no-co from us, but we can get it we can get it next turn if we survive. Yeah, it does bring it down to the ground. Okay, cool. Goes for Brave Bird, which does a lot of damage. It's gonna hit get hit by recoil. And it's enough to knock it out. That's good. We'll take that. That's fine. It did a lot of damage to us though. Here comes Flapple. A dragon grass type. Um, we can go for super, uh, super. We can go for max Flutterby, which will knock it out. I think it won't hit. Let's go. One more Pokemon. It's a Mill Tank, which is a normal type. A pretty bulky Pokemon. It's gonna be hard to knock this bad boy out. Bad girl out. Sorry. Um, we can lower the special attack, but it's not going to do much for us. Let's do, uh, we'll do the G-Max G Gravitas. Okay. Good Ranger. It might knock us out. Goes for Thunderbolt. Interesting. Well, we'll be able to get one more attack and we might be able to knock it out. We'll see. It may survive one more since we don't have the, uh, the G-Max. It does not. Okay. So we're in a pretty good spot uh, for the next the next battle. Two fully healed Pokemon. Hey, good battle. And we have one turn with Ore Beetles, so that's fine. Alright, one more run here. What you doing, Wiki? Melodic. Now, Melodic's a pain in the ass. We can go for Energy Ball here. This really sucks. I really wish that uh, Orb Beetle had more HP for this fight. Because Melodic's a pain in the ass and I don't have really have a Pokemon to deal with it. Um, I can't go into Volcarona here. I have to go into Scizor. And Scizor really doesn't have anything good against this guy. So I'm going to have to Gigantamax. And I think I got to go uh, Max Knuckle. Maybe even a couple times. Get them attack buffs. And then go for uh, the bug attack. Max Flutterbeam. I think that's the move. Because no doubt this Melodic either has Recover or Rest Sleep Talk. And uh, it's going to be a tough time without stab boosts. Goes for Scald. Could burn us. I hope not. A burn would be really bad for us right now. I actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay. I say we... Actually, the uh, the Max Knuckle might knock out this uh, next turn. So maybe I should go for it again just for the extra power-up. I think I should. The Max Flutterby would definitely knock out, though. So, but I'm going to go for the Max Knuckle for the one more power-up. Goes for Rest. Okay, so we made the right play. We might even go for a third Max Knuckle. The only problem is, is now that we're not, we're not going to have a Dynamax for any of the other two Pokemon. Which kind of sucks. But we do have plus two attack and we're going to have plus three attack. So that's pretty good. Alright, one more Max Knuckle. Melodic goes down with a crit. A little cherry on top. Plus three attack. That's pretty good. Who's next? Tauros. Okay. I think we just smashed Brick Brick. Goes for Intimidate. So now we have plus two attack. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay. 
He outspeeds us. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I didn't do it uh, too much damage, but I'm still uh, was a little nervous. Because what if he had like flamethrower? You know, because he can. Tauros can learn flamethrower, or at least fire blast. I think he learned both. That could have been uh, could have been bad. Could have been bad. All right, here comes Comfy. Comfy is a fairy type. This is really good for us because we're a steel type. I say we just go for bullet punch. This should knock it out. And it does. Let's go. So we got one more battle to go and we get to be fully healed for it. Hey, hey, hey. Good battle. And we're going to heal up. Final battle. Crawdont. Okay. A dark water type. Now that is a problem for us because uh, obviously we're a psychic type. The dark uh, could really mess us up, but we're gonna go Dynamax. We're gonna go Max Flutterby. We should survive one attack, unless he goes for Guillotine, <laughs> which he can do. Let's go, Crawdon is down. Scrafty, another dark type. There's a dark fighting type this time though. So we're gonna have to go for Max Flutter B again. Not super effective, but neutral, and we still get stab. And it's enough to knock it out anyways. Orbito's such a beast. Oh, it's a Zurark. So it's super effective. All right, well, the last one's a Scrafty. I guess he was doing the uh, dark restricted sparring. Uh, same thing that we're going to go for Max uh, Flutterby. Yeah, not nearly as uh, strong, but that's fine. Lower special attack. Goes for Facade, that's fine. Doesn't have a status uh, affliction. And he has... An, uh, must have a life orb, okay. Alright, so this should do it. Bug Buzz one more time. And then he'll knock himself out the life orb. Gets a crit though. And that'll do it. Let's go. Now, hey, good fight. We, uh... Almost, almost, it almost didn't go so well. We lost at the very beginning, so we were able to restart basically the episode, which is good. And uh, this is why you never give up. Never give up on your dreams. All right, we're done. So what's next? What's the next typing? We have six more to go. Next one is rock. Okay. What are we doing for rock types? We got Tyranitar, Dreadnought, and Colossal. Is that what I want to do? I think so. So we got a Dynamax, uh, Dreadnought. We have a Larvitar that we're going to have to evolve. And a Colossal. He's got six. Perfect IVs. I think we'll be giving the life orb to uh, Tyranitar. Lefties. Hmm. Put on Colossal. Dreadnought, I'm not sure what I'm going to give him yet. Let's give you uh, 
about a rocky helmet? All right. So first things first is level up Larvitar. We might want rock slide. How much damage does that do? 75? Probably just do Earthquake instead, right? Stone Edge over Rock Slide. I'm not sure what our fourth attack is going to be just yet. Let's take a look. While this evolves. We could go like Fire Punch. Might do Fire Punch. Nah, not Fire Punch. How about maybe Ice Punch? We do Dragon Dance. Hmm. Some good options here, guys. Dragon Claw. Might do Dragon Claw. Eighty damage, yeah. Might do Ice Punch. I haven't decided. Iron Head would be good. All right, we'll think about that here in a minute. Let's, uh... Sandstorm. Could do superpower. Superpower would be pretty good. Yeah, we might do superpower. We'll see what we got available to us. Alright, so everyone else is high level. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we want... We got Dragon Dance, like I said. Which would be pretty good. Dragon Claw... 80 damage. Ice punch. Let's do ice punch. Screw it. Alright, and then let's go to uh, the Pokemon Center. See what uh, moves Dredna and uh, Colossal can learn. Excuse me. Why am I in sun and moon on? Oh, there we go. Sword and shield. <laughs> I was like, I was like, why can't I find Dren on my spell? Not wrong. I wasn't. <laughs> I was like, wh why isn't it popping up? All right. Now, one problem we might run into is we have all physical attackers. I probably should have picked a special attacker of some sort. 
but that's okay. Yeah, our special attack is garbage. Okay. So we got Crunch as an option. Um, Jawlock is interesting. Head Smash is powerful as hell, but it does do uh, recoil, uh, recoil quite a bit, so I don't want to do that. We might go uh, Stone Edge. I'll go Stone Edge. Superpower. Throw Chop is interesting. Body press. Alright, so we got Crunch as an option. I said we go Crunch. No, no, we don't need Crunch with you. Razor Shell. We're going to keep Liquidation. We'll keep lock with, uh, Liquidation. We can go Earthquake. We'll do it quick. Well, Colossal might be able to level up, uh, learn it by level up. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Iron Tail. We'll do Iron Tail. Or can we learn Iron Head? No. We'll do. We can learn Mega Horn. Mega Horn's interesting. Poison Jab. Actually, has quite a bit of moves here, huh? Superpower. What do superpower? Over iron defense, and then I guess just stone edge if we have one. If not, we can just use rock slide. Uh, we have stone edge. I'm thinking maybe Rock Kim is not the right move here. Because I guess I'd, I don't think I built Dreadnought uh, defensive, did I? No, I think I went attack and speed. So what should we use instead? Assault Vest? Could I do Assault Vest. Um... Could go uh, Mystic Water. We'll do Mystic Water. Okay. So Tyranitar and Drenar are both done. Let's take a look at Colossal. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see, so we have Ace Power Flamethrower, Rock Slide, and Bulldoze. That's cool, so Heat Crash. That's Smackdown. I kind of like the idea of Heat Crash, it seems interesting. Um. We can actually use special attacks on this guy because his special attack is not too far from his normal attack. I say we do because we don't have any special attack otherwise. So let's go... We might keep Ancient Power. Let's go Flamethrower or Fire Blast, whichever one we see. We're out of... Oh no, we do have Fire Blast. We'll do Fire Blast. Over where do you have flamethrower? Ah, uh, it's 
it's tough. Mm, yeah. Solar beam. Could do solar beam just for the uh, Dynamax grass attack. I might, honestly. And then we need one more attack. Earth power would be good. To Earth power. All right, then our Pokemon team is ready to go for next episode, guys. Is this Colossal a uh, Gigantamax? I'm pretty sure the ja the Dreadnought is. Let's take a look. Dreadnought is and Colossals. Okay, who should we start with? I kind of want to start with Colossal because we have Solar Beam. So yeah, let's start. We'll lead with Colossal, and we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I am the Maverick Daniels. Bidding you farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!